Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Dr. Karen, Dr. Brick, thank you so much for joining me here in Dallas, Texas. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing well. I am fine. I'm going to start with Dr. Karen, if you don't mind. Women are just first in my world. <laughs> Dr. Karen, you're here to talk about pet parasites. Yes. Give me, an, give me an idea for the 2019 forecast. Well, there's a lot going on, and, and notably, there is a huge spread of heartworm disease. And I'm actually from Dallas, Texas, and that's where my practice is. And what we're seeing is a huge spike in positive heartworm cases, not only in dogs, but also cats. And this is transmitted by the bite of a mosquito. So something as simple as one little mosquito bite can infect your dog or cat with a spaghetti-like worm that grows in the heart. Also, we're seeing a great deal of spread of ticks into the area. So these ticks are something that can be very small. They are a year-round menace. There are some that are as tiny as a little poppy seed uh, that are at the immature stages, but then they can expand up into a much larger size, more obvious parasite. And these ticks carry terrible diseases, things like Lyme disease, and then some other uh, tick-borne parasites that can be very dangerous to cats, even fatal to cats. So that's why it's so important to see the pet's veterinarian and have a discussion about prevention and also see your pet's doctor at least annually for testing. Dr. Rick, you're in Florida. Have your experiences been the same? And what is heartworms? Dr. Uh, Karen gave us a good idea of what it is. So heartworms, yeah, Florida is like the land of parasites. And an interesting thing when it comes to looking at the maps, you'll notice that Florida doesn't show quite as much heartworm disease as some of the other places in the southeast United States. And that's because veterinarians have been extremely diligent at pushing heartworm testing and prevention. So these parasites are dangerous. They are around us all the time. They're not only affecting our pets, but they can affect people as well. Now in heartworms case, those are carried from dog to dog, cat to cat by mosquitoes. So any environment that has a lot of humidity, a lot of rain, is warm, these are perfect environments for heartworms. But we are now seeing heartworm disease in all 50 states. So you can't say that just because I live in maybe in the southwest or, or in the far northwest that I'm not going to see heartworms because we know now that they are everywhere. Now this, Dr. Rick, gets a little scientific, but do uh, parasites adapt to the environment? Well, so the, the big thing you to know about parasites in the environment is that they are extremely mobile. And so these predictive maps are designed to analyze a lot of data, figure out where these diseases are going to be the worst, alert pet owners. We've got the annual forecast, and we now have an every 30-day forecast, right down to the county level to alert pet owners of what the risks are. So they should visit pets, petdisealerts.org. This is where right down to the county level, state by state, in all the lower 48 states, we can predict on a monthly basis what the risk factors are going to be. So if people are going to be at their home, they'll know what their risk factors are. If they're going to travel to an area, they can predict what their risk factors are. And our message is see your local veterinarian. They are your expert. We want our animals to be tested annually and on prevention all year round. Dr. Karen, you are spot on. You know Dallas very well, obviously. It's hot. It's humid. Yes. It's, it's all those different things, and the mosquitoes are running this town, tell me. Yes, they, they are, and they're really present all year round. And, and the good news is, though, that there are great preventative products that even if your dog or cat does get a bite from an infected mosquito, we can prevent the diseases that these mosquitoes carry. And there are even some great products that actually help stop and repel the bite of the mosquito in the first place. So the good news is we've got great solutions to keep not only our pets safe, but in cases like Lyme disease and some of these tick-borne diseases, by using these preventative medications, we can help keep our families safe too. I want to thank you guys. You guys have been great information for my audience, Dr. Karen Fling and Dr. Rick Mar Marison. You guys are exceptional at what you do. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. And if I had a pet, Dr. Karen, I would bring it to you. Oh, thank we can you. fix that. <laughs> yes, we can help you with that. <laughs> yeah, my daughter keeps telling me that. Yes. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Take care. Hi, I'm Valder BB. 
I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.